February 13, uh, 2013, uh, Andre Hernandez, Dallas, Texas. Uh, it's a beautiful day today. I'm out uh, visiting uh, on the premises of uh, Mr. Tilly, uh, his um, his uh, ministry and uh, transitional housing. Um, I'll be doing another interview, uh, and you you can go to that and uh, and see our uh, conversation, our communication here. I'm here with a uh, lady uh, today, and she's going to uh, give you a brief uh, of her uh, whereabouts and and her uh, a little a little testimony whatsoever about her life and uh, and what she's been through whatsoever, and um, and we'll uh, we'll turn the camera over to her, and uh, would you address your name of uh, who you are and okay. And uh, you are here as a residence with uh, Mr. Tilly, or what is the program? Yeah, uh, I'm here as permanent residence. Okay. But, yes. Uh, I'm here as uh, a friend of mine who introduced me to, to Mr. Tilly when I became homeless and stuff. Because I had been in prison before and had problems with drugs and alcohol. So I qualified to, to come through this, and the name of it is Straight Gate. And, uh, just for those that's been in prison that's just getting out or, you know, we need a place to live or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yes. But, um, How long uh, have you been in the program? Uh, I've been here a little over two years. Okay. Um, so you said you, you've been to the pri you've been to prison, now you're out, are you on a parole plan or? No, I've been on parole for so you flatted your number, or you flatted? Yeah, I just want to talk okay. to you. And uh, you'll be, uh, so uh, you, could you uh, give me a, would you like to, would you not mind if you would tell the world a little bit about it yourself and, you know, what misled you or what, what led you to prison or, or, or uh, uh, you know, just as you can be, talk, give it, give it to me as a testimony or uh or uh, however, however you feel, however you're led by the spirit. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I started drinking and doing drugs when I was 26. Then I started drinking first to try to have a relationship with my dad. And that kind of didn't go too well, but like, it's like I fell in the system, so I'm an alcoholic. And so that way, um, I ended up going to prison twice for the DWIs. The second time really taught me. A lot, you know, because I went through uh, treatment and everything, you know, and I learned a whole lot about alcoholism and, and everything, you know. And anyway, I just went through a whole lot after that, you know, and uh, so after I lost my mom and my grandma uh, in 2000, 2001, I knew that drugs and alcohol wasn't the answer, and I was tired. And I got to the point to where I didn't believe in God because why would this keep happening to me? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I prayed for him to um, to help me and to guide me and everything and to show me that he was real, and he did. You know, he came to me and everything. And uh, ever since, I've been going to meetings. And, you know, I pray to him every day. I read my Bible. I talk to people about it. I... Uh, I have a new perspective and everything, you know, and, and if it wasn't for him hearing my prayer and answering it and me being willing to sit there and, and listen and let him truly guide me, you know what I'm saying, um, it, it, it's brought me into meeting uh, new surrounding of people and stuff that, you know, have been through things, I can help them or they can help me in, in some kind of way. And, um, it's a little blessing and everything to be able to be here and, and have a new way to deal with things without drinking or doing drugs or anything like that. Whatever you've been through, I was through a whole lot. I would do, um, you know, rapes and death and, you know, abuse and all this stuff, you know, and it's like, it's, you're not here for that purpose. And it took me a long time to to really dig down and, and uh, listen and to find out, you know what I'm saying? Because I was headstrong strong then. Didn't nobody know that I knew everything, you know. Yes. But um, anyway, um, 
He's helped me through all a lot, and uh, even Albert had uh, talked to me about, because I didn't have very many family members, because they had no say, you know, I had some, a couple of nephews, a couple of sisters, so uh, Christmas Eve, we had to go on the internet, I went looking for them, and I found two of my nephews, and so we have now been reunited, you know what I'm saying, and, and um, so, uh, I mean, this is a good place right here. I mean, he helps you out. He's got, you know, meetings. He takes you, you know, you get hooked up with churches. You get hooked up with Christian people. People that's clean and sober. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's like, it's all up to you. You got to, you got to do for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to yes. want this. For uh, things to happen to, for, to you and for you. Um, he's a real good person. Uh, everybody here on property that that comes here, most of them, you know, they're they're doing real good. They're there for you. They have your back. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, there are people that you can talk to at any time. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, it's it's a good deal that I landed up here because of a friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? And a friend yes. of mine cared enough to know that I needed help with all this. You know, I be, I came. After my mom and them died, um, on my journey to get here, I was at many places like women's shelters and stuff like that. I started out in Kaufman and ended up here in Dallas where I really, I didn't want to come to Dallas because it was so big and everything, but since I've been here, something just happened that, you know, I was homeless and I'd never been that, you know, and, you uh, know, behind me and stuff, I kind of like got sidetracked and everything. And, but, you know, I got back to the point to where, you know, God wants me to take care of me first. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't mind. I, I will step out of my way and help people and keep helping them even after me getting used or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be like that. You know, it's just like God keeps giving me a chance every day. So, you know, I got to forgive and, and at least give them chances. But I'm not to the point to where I can keep doing that. But... I mean, you know, I'll give them like three or four chances or whatever, you know, whatever it might be, but, um, you know, because that's why we're so we because he died for our sins, you know, and, and he forgave us and he loves us, so it's good to, to do his work and everything, um, I think, because, uh, you know, he does, pe he does put people in your lives. He, uh, things don't happen when you want it. It's in God's time, and God's time is always right on time. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You may, I don't think so all the time, you know, but now I know to, to be patient and to sit and, and wait. And, and now I see the blessing as He gives them to me. You know what I'm saying? As I'm being blessed with them. And I don't question it anymore. Yes. So I just thank God, and I thank Alfred and the people in my life today. And now I'm trying to help my nephews, you know what I'm saying? Because they're out there. And they're going through things that I went through, so I'm trying to show them the route. They don't want to go the full route I went, but now they can get to to the to the um ways that they can be helped. You, help, you know, by services and stuff. Well, you know, they get ready to go. And uh, so, you know, I just, yeah, I need a, I just need prayer. Um, She's on video. Mommy, I'm on video. We stopped. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. It's all right. We're doing this for the Internet. Oh. She got okay. Wait, Hold on. Okay, go. go ahead. Oh, Lord. Okay, go ahead. He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I love you too, Bobby. Yeah, I love you too, girl. Oh, but, um, I don't know. All I can say is that, you know, a person's got to be right with themselves and right with God before mm -hmm. they can even help anybody else. And the hardest thing for me was to love myself because all this, that I had been through and all this happened because I always had to blame somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So uh, today I can I can look at the part that I play in the things that I went through and even because you're in involved in drugs and alcohol or whatever like that, whatever happens to you, they're still not right because of that simple fact, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Things do happen. And he does give you a lot of 
trials and tribulations, and you just, whatever you overcome, you just get more stronger, and, you know what I'm saying, and uh, you have more, more power over what happens, you know what I'm saying, because you have a better outlook and a different way to look at it, uh, and just, what all the, the trials that he sends you through, it just makes you stronger, or it makes me stronger, and, and I'm able to see it as it's coming, you know, and uh, focus on that, and then I know the right way to deal with it. Yes. <clears throat> so, uh, you've been here, uh, I'll give you a more than one question, uh, okay. uh, in one, into one. So, um, just kind of, uh, kind of listen to, um, uh, how I'm, how I'm com uh, coming with you with this. And, and, um. So you've been here for how many years, and uh, you're a are you a believer in Jesus Christ? And um, because I hear you talking about God, you know, and uh, and do they have a, a Bible study here? Does uh, I mean, uh, or do you go to church down the block, or somewhere else uh, here in Dallas, Texas, or Fort Worth, in the Metroplex? Uh, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, yeah, um, I've been here a little over two years, and, um, I believe in Christ, I'm a real firm believer, and also we do have Bible study here on, uh, Tuesday night at 6 o'clock, if, if they want to, if you're here on property and you want to go, and I do, they have a, a women's meeting deal on Saturdays at 1 o'clock, also where they have Bible study with some ladies from this church. And we have, uh, me and another girl has went to their church, and we did, I know some uh, other Christian people through Tilly, through his winter circle that he does, you know, um, and, uh, you know, I go to her church sometimes, I go when I help her out, you know, um, but yeah, we have Bible study, and we can go to church, so there's one across the street, this church is all around here, but I just haven't found a home church yet. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, also, you you uh, you said that you uh, that you've been through a lot, and uh, God God took away them things that you struggled with, or uh, it may have been something that you uh, you may have consumed uh, into your life. It could have been a, a some kind of a, a, a abuse, you know, of a, of a, a of a narcotic or or whatsoever, you know, alcoholism. Um, you know, how how are you going about? What what did what what did you do about it? What what are you doing about it? What what's taking place in your life uh, that keeps you sober? How are, how is your walk in sobriety? How how do you keep from not going back? Um, that's a real good one there. Um, I have I have, like I say I go to church. I go to Bible studies. You know, I watch it on TV if I don't make it to church. I do my daily readings and everything. I pray with God every day and every night. And all through the day as I go in and on. The thing is that my walk with God is, you know, I'm, I'm still a baby in Christ. I was brought up in church, but, you know, because of other things, I just got away from church. And, and I know that... I've always had it in there, no, God has got my back, and God is there, and He is real. You know what I'm saying? But, um, uh, um, so Jesus Christ is the one that took it away, and, and that's who's the one who's keeping it away. Oh, yes, and, you uh, know, the way that I deal with my sobriety and everything, you know, I look at what I've been through now. Uh, a lot of my problems was, you know, anything can be a problem, just an excuse to go and drink, you know, or, or do drugs or whatever. But now, I talk, to, I, I talk to people, Christian people, I talk to people at AA, NA, I talk to people here on property, I talk to Mr. Tilly. And so by the time I get through talking to them, I'm not wanting to drink or do drugs. So, you know, that that's helping me because there is a way out, you know, once you get your, um, the the people that you associate with I've changed all of that you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. that and uh, not everybody's 
a Christian or, or believe in God or whatever, but they're in my sobriety. They're in my circle, so, you know, therefore, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing real good, and, you uh, know, I haven't, I've had one slip since I was, when I was here, after I've been here about a year, and it was just like a little, well, I just got to go get this out of my system, and that's what it took for me, that's how, how God has had it deal with me, you know, you know. So you, uh, you, uh, <coughs> you, you fell off, but you, you were welcome back, you got back on track, you know, it happened so quick but you're still uh, standing in your sobriety, mm -hmm. and they do hear, uh, do uh, keep you, uh, they do and give you an invitation, a daily invitation, and to, um, and to uh, uh, peer support of any type, or, or come on, let's go to this meeting elsewhere, or, you know, we're going on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, or we meet here every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, a certain time. Is that what, uh, is that what they're bringing here at Straight Gate, correct? Oh, uh, yes. Here in Straight Gate, uh, Mr. Tilly, he does uh, Winter Circle, that's for the ones that's coming out of prison. He goes to the prisons and, and you know, talks to them in the prison and has his ministry. And um, we have a, uh, you know, people around here that, that, that come in here get into going in his circle and stuff, whether it's going to the prison with him or going to his Winter Circle meeting, you know, is to help those to to get back in with um with society and everything and and you know and to be do better and make better choices and 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 they get introduced to people that that's been clean and sober and uh you know and they're there to they're just going through it just like you are but they just have a lot more clean time yes you know? so um I don't know if you used to be a bar you know, jump, go to different bars, you know, and things like that. <clears throat> um, this question is going to be more than one into one, but um, um, if you, uh, how do you fill in that gap when you, not to have too much time on your hand, do you replace, you, have, you replace your, your blue book, big book from NAAA, or do you uh, use your 12-step, 12 traditions, or do you use the Ten Commandments and, and Genesis to Revelation, Old Testament to New Testament, the Holy Bible? Uh, uh, you said your higher power is Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, or do you find your time in meditation, in prayer? Uh, how do you go about not having too much free time and how to replace that bar time with, uh, with your, uh, your life, lifetime, you know, li living your life, you know? Well, for me, Without. Um, you know, I have a sponsor, but uh, I have my all my my big book, my NA book. I have a twelve and twelve. Um, I have all of that. I go to meetings or right down the street. Um, but I do my daily meditation and I pray, and I have a spiritual reading that I have, and uh, I do all of that. And um, and if it gets to where I got too much time on my on my hands stuff, I Get on the computer, go to Facebook, play games, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. and, um, I don't really get on there and chat, but it's like maybe with some people that I have met that's clean and sober, you know, or somebody that's in the, the uh, uh, a Christian that's in the ministry or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, I talk to them. But other than that, you know, uh, I just replace it with things, you know, I can live clean and sober. Now we... Uh, on holidays, we sit out here, we barbecue, play dominoes, you know, we do all kind of things here, but, you know, I, I do it with things that I never thought I could enjoy doing when I was drinking and sober, if I, if I became, you know, sober, so, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, and you have more fun at it, you know, and it's not as expensive as drinking or doing drugs. So now you notice the difference, what you're capable of. Um, and noticing the difference with and without uh, substance abuse and uh, with sobriety with and without and your difference noticing the difference with and without God um, you know you you know that uh, it's not really about uh, it's not really about that uh, that whenever them thoughts some undue thoughts you have whenever you were under the influence of uh, of uh, uh, substance abuse of some type or um, whenever you didn't have God, when you didn't believe, because you did say earlier that there was a times that, that you thought 
he wasn't really there, you know. And uh, so, I mean, uh, you notice the difference. You know the difference with and without. And what? Uh, give me some more uh, uh, feedback on that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I know real good that. Um, you know, if I don't put God in my life first and and have my daily meditation with Him, my time with Him, even as I go through the day, then uh, things are just all messed up. But you know, I have to go to Him and ask Him to to be with me and to guide my steps and to show me the right way. You know what I'm saying? And when when I start having those doubts or those urges, if I want to drink or something like that because something's happened. You know, I just pray to him, and I go and I talk to people. You know what I'm saying? And uh, but I always put him first, and I thank him too every day. And uh, because without him, I couldn't do nothing, Amen. nothing at all. You know, Amen. and uh, through his grace and mercy, he has got me to where I'm obedient. Yes, now. yes, Amen. So um, your wake up call, your second chance through uh, to life uh, with you know with Jesus Christ. You know, by surrendering to him and and um, you know you you've given us a, a, um, some of your uh, your you know uh, some types and parts of your life that took in place uh, and my uh, my question on uh, and the point that I'm coming across is that your needs you have goals future goals or you know is there something somewhere you need or are praying to be in your life or any needs or where you would like what you would like to do uh, for the ministry here if you'd like to row to till the yard and make a garden or but we don't have that stuff here uh, maybe you can uh, someone out there can come and come about and and maybe share their volunteer time with you and kind of uh, you and them maybe make a garden here or you know a flower bed or something I don't know if that's your if that's uh, your vision or in your spiritual view but um, do you have any goals in your life that you, any needs that need to be met with others because God does say that for, uh, there's ten commandments but the, the, the greatest two is the first two he says to, to love him first and the second one is to, to, to love your neighbor as you love thyself so uh, it's, it's me you and them and, and me you and him and God you know us three you know me them and God you know it's all of us and to him, that's what he's talking about, you know. And uh, is there any, any, uh, any, is there a step that you would like to take and move forward in your life, or where, uh, where it may be a wish or a to-do list, or or something that you, that your finances you may need uh, to get there, or, or somebody to come and and that may have a rototiller to come do the yard or help you with the make a garden and and follow up with that someone here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex or someone from throughout the world that can come on their summer break for you know June July August or, or something like that uh, that you would like to tell the world about you know hey because I know there's volunteer work here I know there's needs here Yeah, I was planning on putting a garden, um, a flower bed out here. We have one at my other house on the same property a year ago. But um, the right thing that that I need is, or that my goal is, is to help another person to get to know God and to know that what He is capable of doing. You know, mm -hmm. um. That that he is real and that he is here. He is here to help and to heal. And um, he does answer prayers. Uh, my goal is, you know, just let other people know that no matter what you've been through, there's there's God first. Put God first, and then and He will put the people in your life that no matter what whatever it is that you need. Um, help with he will put those people in your life to help you you know um, and the way you see and, and, and uh, that will be there to guide you you know through his word and, um, and then you can do his will you know um, even if it means just um, being a baby in Christ to help you grow spiritually and, and be able to 
read his word and understand what he's saying in his word. Yes. And uh, I just like to, you know, uh, I give a lending hand. I just need prayers. I'll pray for people, you know, because if it wasn't for God, I mean, I couldn't even be here sitting here right now, you know. Yes. And uh, I thank you because he woke me up this morning. I thank for everything that he's done in my life, everything he's doing and everything that he's going to do. Yes. You know, all you have to do is ask, not, and, and he's there, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, you got to, but you have to believe in how faith. And that's one thing that, that was kind of hard for me, was believing in someone that I couldn't see. You yes, know? yes, yes. And the things, the trials and stuff that I went through, and I'm like, he's a loving God. Well, if he's a loving God, then why do we keep going through the same thing over and over and keep going through struggles after struggle, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's to make us stronger, and we have to see that that's what it's for. And, and then, you know, have to deal with it differently, you know what I'm saying? You don't let it get you down, you mm -hmm. know? You just pray on it and say, well, even if you're going through trouble, well, thank you for what you put me through. You know yes, what I'm saying? To yes. get me to where I'm going. Yes. You know, you know. Yes. Um, as for the people out there, as for services here, y'all sure, you know, to come and minister to the people here. Because we do have a little Bible study, you know. It's small right now, but everything starts out small. Yes. You know, and it does get better, and there is a lot of people here that come through here that are Christians and that don't have a church to go to or anything, and for their spare time and stuff, would enjoy coming and, you know, learning more about Christ. Yes. Well, I, I appreciate your time and uh, and, and for um, delivering your uh, your word, your message, you know, allowing God to speak through you and be used by the Lord as a vessel right now today. And to the world to be a, uh, to bear witness in Christ and Jesus Christ and and I thank you and I thank God for putting me in your life you know so that I can see it because it, it see the uh, what Jesus Christ has done you know the glory of God the power of God and that's what I see in, in you is is Jesus what he the miracle that he's done in you we're all miracles I have I have my time my life you know you have yours but, you know, we're all into one, one body, one Lord, one accord, the body, body of Christ. And I, I just thank you for your time, and uh, and um, and God bless you, and, and uh, stay up, stay strong, stay, stay sober, and stay out. With God, let's do it. Amen. Bless right, you. God bless. All right. Thank you. Yes. All right. Have a good one. All right. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. All righty. So this is your place right here, your yes. residence. Yes. Uh, you live with other people here? Oh, uh, do you want to? Uh, I know, I just glance, you know, okay. just, it's just like a hallway or Well, we can just show them that, you know, what the house is just like. Okay. You know, kind of, you just zoom through it. Oh, so there's I'm more than one bedroom. I'm in my room now. <laughs> oh, this is your room? Yeah, okay. we have this. He has the women's houses and he has co-ed, but, you know, everybody has their own little room. Okay. Yeah, so we have the bedrooms and the women's rooms. Okay. Yeah, so we have the women's rooms and the women's rooms. Okay. Yeah, so we have the women's rooms and the women's rooms. Y'all keep it clean up in here, huh? Oh, yeah, so Showers, running water. Right next to Godliness. Fire extinguisher. A lot, everything. Fire extinguisher. Oh, yeah. Smoke signals. <coughs> yeah, that's good. And uh, this is one of the, the older houses. Uh, Do you guys buy your own food here, or? Uh, yeah, we buy our own food. So, but, uh, but some of the churches will give you food, or you're, uh, you you accept we donations. We do churches sometimes. But if people if give we you, need to, yeah. okay. But you would accept There's someone or someone to take you yeah. to the grocery yeah. store and kind of yeah, help that's you. That's the main thing we need because the bus. The bus that system. That we have here doesn't go to the grocery store. So uh -huh. you got through all these different transfers, you know, to get yeah, there. Yeah, transfer. And if you're good like I am, I'm used to doing a lot of walking and exercise, so yeah. I'm good at that. In the neighborhood stores, are they kind of high price compared to yeah, Walmart it's, or it's kind of. It was, it was good here until, um, I guess, it's the middle of, of last year, and then yeah. they started selling alcohol. So it's oh, good. yeah, you just kind of <laughs> avoid them places. Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, I just walk in, so I don't even see it anymore. I mean, he took the desire and everything away, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, God bless, and okay. thank you for everything. Right. So you'd okay. like to get this garden together?
Yeah, I would, yeah, I'll have to fix that up. Get some equipment, some, yeah, 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 yeah uh, well, I got a little, little shovel thing, spike uh -huh. thing in there. Yeah. yeah, it's getting but warm out here, so. I think I'll grab, I don't know if I will garden, I think I want to have flowers, but. It would look uh, good all right here, and yeah, you can just make yeah. a flower bed right here. Yeah. I, I I see a flower bed, that would look yeah. good right here in just this little corner right here. But hopefully uh, somebody will come out and participate, you know. There's a lot of volunteering around the but world, you know. And this is one place they can you know? come. Yes, I'm a volunteer myself. I go in that that way, but to tell you the truth, to define that definition, I'm a servant of God. I serve, you know, for you know for really free. I, mean, I, li I like to go to this. Since I was homeless when I came to Dallas. Yes. Uh, I went through uh, this one shelter, but then they have the bridge, which is downtown. Yeah. Yes, I've been. And there. they have the. Uh, the people that come out in the parking lot for church mm -hmm. services and they feed and they have clothing oh, yes. and stuff. I like to go down there because out in the open, you know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Public place too. Yeah, it's yeah. real good. You know. Well, this is too. This is open. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is a place to be if you, if you uh, want to better yourself. If you want to go about. Uh, if you want to do something about it. If it's something that you've been through in your past, you got to do something about it. You know, and this is a place where you can do that. God bless you. Have a good one. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Right. Nice to meet you. We'll be approaching the office area, and I'll be doing another interview uh, with uh, the the one who runs the place, uh, Mr. Tilly. And uh, it's a truck they use for ministry, and it's getting washed right now. But this ministry goes as far back as all this wooded area right here. But I'm praying that uh, he's able to build back there, and uh, we can get financial blessed blessings, you know, to build back here in this uh, in this area. And down here is this uh, other transitional houses with other people that live, and it goes all the way back this way. Um, we're here in South Dallas off, off of uh, Ann Arbor and uh, Idaho Street. And uh, I've known Mr. Tilly since uh, 2007, 2008. I met him at Salvation Army. And uh, he, uh, he's he been uh, doing this. For, uh, he, he, he introduced himself and told me what he does uh, then, back then. And... Uh, here it is. I'm finally out here touring and able to uh, able to uh, get some interviews and uh, and show the world what's ha what's active, what is active uh, in the United States on how people are using uh, what what they've been through, how God blessed that mess, and He'll take something bad and make it good, and uh, we all work together in His goodness. It's a, a, a washing area. Hi. <laughs> You're saying hi to the world. Hi, world. All right. Hey. Doing laundry? Okay. I need to do something like that if I want to talk to Is, his, is he over here? Uh, hi. I think there's another guy I'm supposed to interview no, back here. Uh, the one right here to the left? I think he's to the oh, left. Wow. Yeah. God yeah. bless. Where are you from? Uh, I, I'm from Kansas, but I live in South Dakota. South Dakota. Get them from $5 all day long, South Dakota. Yeah. You want to give your testimony? Huh? So oh, here's that wooded area that goes back and uh, and then there's more. Uh, there's like a little pathway right here that take you down to to his other apartments or uh, houses, we would call them. This is all it right here. It's a beautiful area, be beautiful ministry. I call it like a, like a campus, you know. It's like a campus. So beautiful, though. I'll pray that he gets a, some more buildings back here in the back. Or maybe just like a campsite or something where they can go down and log cabin or something. Maybe build a church, log cabin church back in here. It says there's more than one acre back here. So this is is built. This land is ready to be built on. I'm just praying for miracles of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for others to uh, come and see what what God is doing in Dallas, Texas. Oh, Tina. 
at the at the gate uh straight gate and we'll end this one